Bo Levi Mitchell makes his long-anticipated return to Calgary on Fridays. The Ticats visit the Stampeders at McMahon Stadium. Mitchell did not play in the only game between the two teams last season and is excited to face his former franchise, though he said he holds no ill will against the Stamps. Hamilton is a short road favorite in this one at around one and a half points. Ch-ch-ch-cheese. Can the Ticats win and cover? Do I have to pick someone for this game? Because I think they both should lose. I am not a believer in either of these franchises right now. And, and I don't think the margin between them is very large either. Frankly, I think they're going to be battling for the bottom playoff spot in their divisions if they're in playoff contention at all. And I don't believe in Bo Levi Mitchell having an Anthony Calvillo-like resurgence like Scott Milanovic thinks. But for this one game, I do believe that Bo Levi Mitchell can find a little motivation, and that's going to be just enough in his return to Calgary to cover this short spread. I do believe the Ticats can win on the road. I am going to be taking the home side here. I've got the Calgary Stampeders, and the reason for that is if there's one thing the Stampeders did really well in 2022 that they need to get back to after a disappointing 2023, it's running the damn ball, right? B.J. Emmons had a very good preseason. Peyton Logan was, I, I, I mean, I think is one of the most explosive players in the CFL with the ball in his hands. And Dedrick Mills, I think, is solid. Hamilton has a lot of questions in their linebacking core, right? Gone, of course, is Simone Lawrence, who retired. Also, they, they have some more questions since the retirement of Jordan Williams. I think that that unit could be uh, potentially susceptible to the run. And uh, this is not going to be a high-scoring game, right? I don't see this as a big, flashy, high-scoring game. I, I see this as a bit of a slugfest. And um, at the end of the day, I, I trust Calgary's secondary a little bit more than I do Hamilton's. The Stampeders spent a lot of money in their secondary this past offseason with getting Demario Houston in there. They've completely revamped that unit. I will take the Stampeders, though, again, I, I think this is going to be a very tight game. 